Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, back with another little clip. I said I'll come back when I've finished, but I'll keep lying to you. You know I do. Right, I've finished uh, all the brickwork on this side. And just give it a rough clean up at the moment. Uh, I've broken the top down because I don't want these too high, but I don't want them too low. I tidied up the front just by using uh, a scalpel, wherever it's gone to. I've lost it. I just use scalpel, flat edge, and then just literally just cut through. It just goes through ever so nice and easy, and just form that that arch back up again just to make it look right. Uh, this side's partly done as you can see but I've broken this all away at the top just to get that effect of uh, it being destroyed. I shall finish this off get this up to height and, and the front and then I'll, do an, then I'll come back and I'll show you just how easy it is uh, to clean it up and uh, to make it look uh, like new. Well, we don't want it like new. We want it destroyed and crippled and mashed up. Anyway, I should be back in a little while. Right, another little clip. I thought I'd uh, show you this. Here we got the two arches formed, yeah? And I realised I've not really showed you a lot about brickwork, so I shall endeavour to show you a little bit more. Uh, as you can see as well, I've sanded, roughly sanded this side. Look, that arch has come round really nice and smooth compared to this side where it's still higgity piggity. So, but we'll get onto that one on the next couple of clips on after this. Now, we have to run the brickwork up the centre of this. Now, me personally, this is the way I do it. Uh, like this, it would be a full brick and a quarter. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. I do some just do some dry fitting ones. Uh, then another full brick this way, just to break the bond up. And I will take you across. I've got a, a little pile of bits and pieces here. That have all been cut off uh, the end of bricks as I've been building, and I keep hold of them for the simple reason of doing things like this because they will fit somewhere. He's gone right down there, Let's get him out. Uh, let's try that one. Yeah, he fits. It's just a matter of. I mean, really, I should be gluing these as I, as I go along. But I just wanted to sort of show you uh, how I. I sod it. They ain't going to stop in there unless I glue them. Let's take them out. Let's glue them. No point of looking about. Fresh stuff in that. I'm a bit of fresh. Uh, that one's too small. Just the right size. <laughs> and to be totally honest with you, it doesn't really matter if you have got little gaps because when I come to showing you when we sand it all. If you leave the dust in the cracks and then I use a uh, pigment fixer and fix the dust actually in the cracks, it looks pretty good, but we'll get all to that. So 
we just keep going up there a little bit stuck if I don't need neighbor's dog off of barking just make sure they're down nice and tight that bit looks like it's going to fit just gives my big hand No, it's not. So I've got the camera right at the top of me. I can't really see 100%. No, he's not going to have it. You see? That, everything don't go the right way. That bit might though. So all we keep doing and we do exactly the same with the uh, glue as we're going along. You can see that can't you because I'm not really looking at the, the monitor. I'm too busy looking what I'm doing. And we'll just uh, clean that off. See, and then we just carry on. Now it's going to come to a point on this archway because this bottom bit's quite uh, tight, if you know what I mean. So uh, try and find a bit for that. No, no, no. I might have to cut a bit. Ah, cut a bit. It's going to come to the point where you're going to have to start cutting the bricks at a slight angle because what's going to happen is you can just about see it starting on that one is that a gap's going to form because you've got a straight edge against this these are still straight edged but it's going to start so you're going to have to start just nipping them as you go along I'll keep going Probably going to bore the arse off here, but hey ho. It's like that one now. Look, if I was to do that, you got quite a bit of angle. We can probably no, I won't. With the clippers, you just need to. Uh, you see, I guesstimate everything like a bricklayer would, because all the bricklayer would do would be to pick the brick up, kick his trowel up, and he would just give it a good welt to get it to fit like that. So, as you can see, that I've just just cut that just at a slight angle just to start following uh, will we get away with that one I think we might not actually that one looks quite big dangly bit to it so that one's going to be the same so we're going to need to just with the cutters you just need that just that tiniest little bit off I'm doing it over where I'm working as well well I shouldn't do but uh, I don't normally do that you see because uh, I'm not normally trying to show show people what I'm doing. So have a little bit of glue on that. And we've got some underneath there, which I thought we would end up with. Alright. So I'll 
long enough. Yeah, I can live with that. As long as it's following the line, we're going to be okay. So the next one's going to go in there, so it's going to need quite a bit off of it. And like I say, save all these bits because what they're coming useful for is when you start doing piles of uh, hardcore and that, you can throw all them little bits in with it. Just check that a little bit more. You can uh, make the piles look more authentic. Still a fraction more. If I have to say this is the most boringest and slowest bit when you're doing stuff like this, uh, it's nice when you get onto you know, what I call straight runs. But uh, that's the way it goes. Well, it's the same with anything you do. So, as you can see, we're just starting to follow that round, and you just keep on going. I don't want to. Uh, now the thing is, we're going to have to go dead centre of that one. So if we go centre of that one, that means we're going to have a line running up the centre because you've got half, and now the bond's going to change. So we're going to need to cut bricks smaller. If you understand what I mean. I think you do understand what I mean. I'll just cut that one. I'll just do this course and then I'll stop the... There we go, that one goes in. Push it down. So I'm just cleaning off each time. I don't really bother cleaning off each time. But that's just so you can see uh, what's going on, so we need another bit that sort of size that'll do I'm sorry if I'm doing this off camera but they're very, well you see and they're very 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 easy to cut let's see if I've made that one, no, spot on the mark there we go so that's how you keep going on just working at one little bit each time. So it's more and clean that off properly. So I'll have to put water on it because it just shows it shows it up a little bit more. And uh, <coughs> well, actually, if I explain the next course as well, gluten from now if you go halfway, so that bit's touching. And by the laws of averages saying that shouldn't be too far off, so we'll just equal them out. What do I do when we push? And then your next one, we'll start in the centre there again. Like so. You actually see that. That's a bit better. So you're going to end up having to put, I'm going to end up having to put, uh, like small little wedges in these bits here as you go up. Uh, this is the only time consuming bit, I think. And will that little bit go in there? No, we've got another little bit there. And I save all, like I say, I save all these little bits because they all fit somewhere. Like that bit did, look. <laughs> Just to prove it, so it stands in. Oh, there we go. 
So all the little bits you cut off, you just save and uh, they will all work in. Well, I will come back and uh, when I've completed this front bit, but I hope you understood the sort of the techniques behind it. If not, you can always ask questions on the postcard, please. Alright, another clip. Now I've finished all this front bit. I've still got quite a few little gaps, and all I'm going to do for this is a bit of perfect putty, like so, and just work that all into the grooves. Shall we leave it like that? Bit of a mess. Oh, missed a bit at the top there. Look. Bit of a mess, but uh, you'll see the reason why I've left it like that in a clip's time, I suppose. Right, into another clip. I finished. Well, all the brickwork anyway. So, that is it done both sides. And all that's got to be done now is the clean up. So I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'll put you on pause and I'll move the camera and I'll just show you then how easy it is to clean this up and to make it start looking like proper brickwork. Right, back again. I've got some 120 grit sandpaper, pretty coarse, but it don't matter on this because the coarser the better I think. We'll start on the front. Keep sanding. seals it 
and it keeps the dust there and uh, well, I've still got a lot of rubbing down to do so what I should do I shall rub this down and then I'll just come back and I'll show you what the finished item is because if I keep going on this video it's going to go on forever and I think I've got to go right back to the beginning and cut the start down a little bit because if not you can be sat there for a good hour watching, watching me uh, play bricks so the same with the side as you can see it's all not it's easier when you get a big piece like this you can get on to, get on to it but just leveling off everything as you can see look there's parts there look where it's just a fraction lower but uh, this will all come up smart it took about 10 minutes of sanding it will look good so I'm going to cut you off and then I'll come back when I've done it right back again uh, what have I done I've given it a clean sand up so it's all Sorry about the, the whiting out there, but uh, this camera just doesn't like white things, well, whitish things, should I say. Now, all I have to do now is find a paintbrush. Uh, there we go, that'll do. And all I do, just to finish it off, is some of the, this is the AK pigment fix, is just uh, give it that little coat of that so it will fill any of the, uh, the gaps that are in there the pigment uh, fix does go matte when it's uh, dry you might have to do a little bit of highlighting on the brickwork at the front here but we'll see how that goes especially down the bottom there because it looks like they've all gone into one but that's no uh, big problem that'll all come when I start weathering it this is just basically getting it to uh, the stage where I can actually weather it because sometimes when you put a, a bit of a dark wash on it it picks out these bits it's like everything else if not what I normally do is just go in there with the, with the back of a scalpel and just line it out again just so it's visible but uh, all in all I'm happy with that extremely happy side view like what it should look like and it's going to white out no it's not but now the top is going to need to be uh, built up to make it look like it's part of the destroyed bridge which is uh, my next little challenge well actually my next little challenge is doing the rest of them 
I shall get them all to this stage and then I shall uh, put them onto my dive armour and work from there. So that's how I do these bricks. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you've uh, suffered all the way through that, thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one.